the beginning, there was only the war for eternity. And at the center of creation, chaos claimed its victory. Yet, creation would not yield itself. And thus it all began. In the blink of an eye, the final hunt. And so, you must travel beyond the edge, to where seeds of life may yet remain. If the coordinates are correct, we should be getting closer. What do you expect to find, Professor? The origin of life, Lieutenant. That's odd. Temperature is showing all wrong. What does it say? It's getting drastically warmer. We're almost there. How is this even possible? It has long been speculated that life hides within Antarctica, and we have finally found it. The beginning of it all. Wh what was that? You saw that too. doing a moment ago. I don't remember. Humans are strange creatures. For as long as I can recall, I've been here. When the continent split, I was there, watching. When the seas retracted, I was there, watching. And when life forms started flooding this world, I was there, watching. While I was never able to leave the place I woke up, I would travel the world in my mind, exploring the ever-changing landscapes of my home. Everything was pretty comfortable, honestly. Until... You know, Nira, if you would take from me my magic, my memories, then I'll do the same to you. And you, who trapped me in my weakened form. When I break free, how long do you think you can hide? She murdered thousands, drained their souls of life. Who was she? Where did she come from? Why did she feel so familiar? What was that? Despite the damage that terrifying creature had done to humanity, it would all eventually fade into vague tales of good defeating evil. Humanity moved on, yet the fear of that dark creature lingered within them. Through generations and generations, they poured their spirits and wills into warfare. Millions died, and the world was wrought with despair. Yet, no matter how bad things got, they never gave up. I will never understand humans. It hurts. It'll be okay. I'll get you out, and then we'll find something nice to eat. Okay? I can't feel my leg. Oh. What was that? How's your leg? It's okay. It feels better suddenly. Humans are strange creatures. Despite their whole world falling apart, their hope never really seems to fade. 
What am I doing? What purpose do I serve? A lone spirit watching this world grow as I make no impact on it? A hero that saves the day from evil monsters? No matter what I do, I feel nothing. Humans. I can't relate to them at all. No matter how much I observe those strange creatures, I just feel nothing. I feel tired. Something is happening. I need to see. I can't see anything. My power, it's disappearing. So this is your hiding place, Seed of Life. <laughs> I understand everything now. For the first time since as long as I can recall, I have quenched my thirst for sanity. Sanity? The gift you brought with you. Ah, oh, yes. My memories are beginning to return. You brought life to this planet from that place. Creation? But what is creation? I don't remember yet. No matter. What do you want? Ultimately, I want this world to last forever. Humans die too fast. This world is always on the brink of collapse. All they have built can be broken in a single one of their short lifespans. And how will draining this world of life do that? There is a question in existence that, once answered, can unlock the key to eternity. Sit back, seed of life, and watch as I become the true protector of this world. All will grant me a fraction of their sanity, and in return, I will grant them eternity. And then, the good times will last forever. Natasha! I can't move. Humans, those strange creatures, they always force a smile. Even when everything is falling apart. <laughs> I have to move. I don't. I don't want this world to die. I want to keep watching. I want to see it. For myself! I'll be the one to protect this world! Even if I'm just a spirit. <laughs> I'll do it. <sighs> Humans. Good morning, Miss Haruka Caribou. You look well rested. Hmm? Ah. Uh. We've been observing you for a while now, you see. My name is Gunrun, and I'm owner of the Shoujo. You may have heard of us. Possibly you come into contact with some of our own. The Idol Agency? 
I mean, yeah, but how do they- I know this is sudden, and I'm sure you have questions, but we need you to join us right now. The fate of the world depends on it. Uh, what? you or your minion. You may think yourself above all others, but you cannot simply wander in here and reclaim your throne without opposition. Yeah, that's right. We have a new king of hell now. Oh, really? Who's the new king of hell? I'd love to meet him. The throne you sit upon belongs to I, Abaddon, conqueror of hell. Remove yourself at once, or... Go on. Or what? You're not her. What's going on, boss? Boss! Mm -hmm. uh, what pitiful energy the demons within this universe hold. But I won't have to worry about that soon. 